Hello guys, the Fantastic Z here, on Build Boat once again. If you were wondering why I haven't been making videos, that is because my PC broke, notably the CPU and GPU, but now I have a new PC, a completely new one, and it's a lot better than my old one, it only had one um, gigabyte of video memory, but anyways, you're not here to hear me ramble about my new PC, you're here to learn how to build boats like this. So today in this video, I'll teach you a few tips and tricks that have really helped me make this boat, especially with the floor design here. This one was the most challenging bit, but I thought of something to make it like 10 times easier. So yeah, stay tuned for that as well. So one of the first things I do is I see how many blocks I have. I don't really have that much. I mostly use a tiny block glitch, which is a really good tip to use. Because, um, not only that, it saves on space as well. Like, see? You can see the decimal points. And it's around eight times smaller. But not only that, um, if you were to use them like this, you can take up to, like, four times space. Four times less space than if you were to do it like this. So, see? You can save around half the space or half the blocks just by doing this. And also, they added new colors as well, so that's really cool. Hmm. So I guess you'd be able to just place a bunch of blocks right here with corresponding colors as well. I haven't played this um, update since I got the PC. So, oh, I still have it on. So you can just have some colors over here, I guess, to copy on whenever you need them, I guess, so yeah, that's a neat tip or trick you can use. Alright, but one of the first things I do when I check how many blocks I have is I usually um, do a scale. I scale, um, of course in my videos you probably see that, I scale around a big large area since I have quite a few blocks and also use the tiny block glitch to conserve my blocks. I just scale it to see what area I'll be using. But for this video, I'll only be doing a small area. And this is actually not a bad thing, because um, in Build Boat, you only start with a few blocks. So it's always good to start small, because once you start big, you got to think of more unique ideas. So what you can do, the first tip I'll teach is you obviously know dimension size. Dimensions are important. So I'll show you how to color a floor like I did um, for the Sapphire Titan. So now you have a floor, but you don't really know what to do. You don't really know what to color it with or how you should color it to make it unique. Well, I'll teach you a little trick. First, what we'll do is we'll mark some of the areas around the entire dimension. So now you have this. So what you can do is um, what I do is I use the pencil, put it to the low size. Now what you can do is, um, you can make this represent like a tiny block, and this one may represent like a full block, except I'll just do this one, since I use tiny blocks a lot. So first, you'll want to place the blocks according to what's going on in Roblox. So now, you have your dimensions all set. And then you can begin adding stuff in between. So I think I'll go with a, hmm, maybe red and orange. And maybe also yellow. That sounds good as well. And then you can add each color like so. I'll just fill it all in, like this. And then you can add your other colors as well. And you can just do anything, just mess with all the colors and do whatever. You can also check what colors you're using, like example here. I'm using all these stats, so you can copy it to Roblox. So what I did was, I chose yellow. So first I'll do the main yellow, which is 
255-242. So red and green. 255 and then 242. And then add 0 to blue. And then you got the yellow you have. And then you can copy it onto here, like so. So yeah, you can just experiment with this a lot. And then add it to your designs, as you please. Oh nice, you got a hold click feature now too. So this is definitely becoming easier to use, the paint tool. I like that. And then, oh whoops. Oh boy, no. And then remove that. Okay, there we go. And then see, it basically just looks exactly like this, kind of. I mean, other than the gradient part that I added here. Other than that, you can use this tip to a huge advantage to make the floor you want, if you can't really think of a type of floor to make. But like I said, I tend to use tiny blocks a lot. Just remember, start small. Don't start too big. And improve on your builds as you go. Alright? The Sapphire Titan is the fifth version of the Titan that I made, like, 2018, I think. But, yeah, it's a pretty old build. But I turned it into the Sapphire Titan. So you can always rebuild, re-improve what you've already made. Don't be afraid to do so. It's really good. If you are looking to get some blocks, if you are looking to get a lot of blocks as a priority, if you've already built quite a bit of builds, um, you can build something like this, maybe. This might help on getting some gold. I don't know, this is what I use. Some tips while using some fast vehicles is, um, don't try to go, like, speed through it as fast as possible. You kind of want to do it, um, slowly, mostly when you're going through the fog screens. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So I'll load this up. And then, I'll close these doors. So what you want to do when grinding is you don't want to go too fast. Too fast through the fog, like that kind of. Sometimes you can go back a little bit, so that way it renders your character a little bit better. So yeah, don't go extremely fast, but don't go extremely slow either if you do want to grind. Just make sure you don't go so fast to where the scripts can't register your character going through the fog. And here we are, at the end. I might not get all the 255 gold. Maybe I still went too fast. We'll have to see. Alright, good, I got all that gold. So yeah, just go fairly slow and you'll probably get... You'll probably make it. <coughs> so another tip is shape. I'll teach you how to do circles. They're not too hard to make. Or round surfaces. What I usually do is I first start with one of the corners or sides. So example, if I'm making like a pretty big circle, I'll probably use... Or let's start with a small circle. You can use something like this. A fairly simple circle. And as you can see, the circle wasn't too hard to make. Another tip I also use for bigger circles is I put one in the corner here, and then I add two, then I add a plus one, three. This is mostly good for round surfaces. Not really too much circles, but it will work. And then you have yourself a neat circle. So yeah, three, minus one, minus one, then plus one, then plus one, minus one, then minus one. However, this won't work with, um, if you do want to make a bigger circle, this probably will, won't, this probably will work up to, like, four instead of five, because I think up to four. It starts looking less like a circle. Yeah, see? Doesn't really look like a circle anymore. Looks more like a round surface, but that's not a bad thing if you're aiming for a round surface like that. However, if you do want to make a bigger circle, then you can do, like, minus two, then minus one then plus two, then plus two again. 
And of course, it just goes around. Like usual. But yeah, this mostly works for round surfaces. Not really for circles. We can still use it for circles if you want. As you can see, still a pretty neat circle, so remember. 4, minus 2, minus 1, plus 2, plus 2. Minus 2, minus 1, plus 2, plus 2. Just something I made up when I was struggling on making circles. And you can just do something like that. But anyways, that's about really all the tips I have. You kind of just have to experiment what you want to do, mostly with the color part. I mean, you just have to experiment on what feels right. I don't really have that many more tips on what you can do. Other than tiny blocks and whatnot, but I don't know, maybe it would be best not to use tiny blocks. It takes so much time to use. Uh, but it is so worth it if you do want to go that extra mile for the extra detail. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this tips video. Have a good day or night depending on which side of the earth you live on. And bye.